So you're in love with one of your friends, but she has a boyfriend and probably wouldn't have sex with you anyway. What you will need. One knife, one ring, access to a sunbed, the ability to grow a beard. Step one, place the ring on your wedding finger and avoid contact with your friend for a month. Step two, stop shaving and use the sunbed to gain a tan. Step three, after a month when your beard is full and your tan is noticeable, remove the ring from your finger. Step four, remove all your clothes and break into your friend's house. Step five, use the knife to cut your body in various places. Avoid the face. If possible, focus on your back. The more blood, the better. Step six, into your friend's bedroom and lie face down on the floor. Wait for her to return. Step seven, when she enters the room, pretend to be unconscious. Allow her to turn you over and try to wake you for a few seconds before you open your eyes. The injuries on your body will serve as a distraction to your nakedness. She will be more concerned about your well-being instead of fearing a naked man in a room. Step eight, when she asks you what happened, you should ignore her questions. Instead, you must act confused and ask the date. If it's September 15th, she will say September 15th, to which you must reply, no, what year is it? Step 9. Upon hearing the year, say the words, it worked. Pretend to lose consciousness again for a few seconds, implying that whatever it is that has worked took a great effort. Step 10. If your friend is a curious person, she will probably ask, what worked? Even if she doesn't ask this question, it's important that you now say these words. Keisha, I'm from the future, and your most deadpan voice. Step 11. Pause for 10 seconds to allow for incredibleness of the situation to sink in. There will be no reason for her to doubt your claim because your beard will make you appear much older and your cuts will add to the weight to the idea that you've come from a post-apocalyptic future where the war is currently taking place. Step 12. Raise your hand to your face. All women are very observant, so your friend will immediately notice the tan line on your wedding finger. If she is educated to a decent standard, she will realize that you've been married and your ring has simply disappeared because clothing and other items cannot travel through time. Your nudity will support this. Step 13. Now comes the hard part. The monologue. In your own words, you must give a speech in which you mention all these key points. A. You are married to each other in the future. B. Her current boyfriend is dead. C. The world is coming to an end. It's up to you to pick a reason. But I would recommend the war against the machines. This whole situation will be backed by the Terminator franchise. D. In the future, your relationship is not going well. E. You've come back in time because you can't help but feel that she would have been happier with her current boyfriend if he hadn't been killed. F. Her current boyfriend is going to be hit by a bus in six months from her present. She should stop him from going to work that day. G. If she does exactly what you say, this current version of yourself will be erased and you will never get married. If she questions this flaw in your time travel logic because you cannot change the past, Simply reference back to the future. Step 14. Unless your friend is made of stone, she will now be overcome by emotion, especially at your selflessness. Get to your feet and go kiss her goodbye. It's very important that you do this with confidence of a man that has done this many times to her. Step 15. There is now no possible way that you aren't able to have sex with her. You're naked, kissing her, in her bedroom, agreeing to erase a version of yourself from history to make her happy. As far as she knows, you've had sex many times in a future that will no longer happen, so she thinks to herself that maybe she should have one more memory of it. Step 16. After having the sex, ask to borrow some clothes, then leave. Step 17. Shave off your beard and cut your wedding finger with fake tan. Carry on as if nothing happened. There will be three possible outcomes. 1. During the sex, some feelings that she didn't know existed are awakened and she will leave her boyfriend for you. 2. Life will carry on as normal. 3. You'll be filled with guilt because of this moral gray area where you aren't entirely sure if what you've done counts as some kind of low-level rape. You'll take your own life by hanging, overdose, or wrist-cutting.